it's raining, it's raining. Well, not just outside, but also on our show. Welcome to Z Connect, friends. Just a few more weeks and we will be ringing in the new year. But the season of celebrations is already here and we've got so much lined up for you. Race Sasso ki, Race Dharkan ki, Race F1 ki. The Formula F1 Grand Prix is one of the biggest events in the UAE. We've got that covered for you and we also caught up with the Williams F1 team. It is a nice track and uh, of course we have been here so uh, uh, it's quite a challenging uh, last sector with off camber corners and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice modern track, although for driving we miss a bit of high speed corners, I think. Uh, but yeah, overall I think it offers a, a nice uh, atmosphere uh, for the fans. It's good uh, to watch it in television. Maybe for driving it could be better, but uh, we cannot complain. Yeah, very similar to what Robert said, you know, missing a few high speed corners, the off camber. Honestly, it's not so nice to drive with the off-cambered corners, but it's, it's a fun circuit and um, it has some character and driving at night is, is very nice. Like every sport, the uh, sooner you start, better it is. So uh, actually every driver is starting karting as soon as possible. Of course, in the beginning, it's a kind of uh, fun playing. Then it's becoming hobby, then passion. And uh, you, if you are good and, uh, and you are a bit, of, uh, a bit lucky as well, because you have to be lucky, and you have opportunity, you move uh, ups in the categories. And uh, yeah, of course, Form 1 has only 20 places. So uh, it's very difficult to arrive into Form 1, but there are the many different uh, professional series around the world. And uh, uh, as every sport, uh, talent and practicing, keep training is very, very important. Practice, 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 and um, that makes perfect. So. I think it doesn't matter what you do, whether it's racing or football or whatever, it's all about practice. Well, I mean, you've got to be good at cardio, so running, cycling. Um, for us, it's very demanding on the neck, a lot of G-force and on, the, on your core. So, um, you know, especially go-karts, it demands quite a lot of, of the whole upper body. So, I was, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Additionally to this, uh Mentally, uh, it's, you have to combine, you have to be very focused, so uh, there, there is a lot of physical stress, but also mental aspect is very, very important. Uh, you have to be, keep up concentration for a relatively long time uh, and on very, very high level, so uh, definitely a combination of uh, good uh, fitness uh, uh, level, but also mentally you have to be up uh, to the game and your local go-kart circuit and um, that's where we all started. We started in go-karting and um, practiced there and then when we realized we were good at it, you know, we progressed through, through the ranks. Birla Institute of Technology and Science, Yani Bits Pilani, held their 17th sports festival. To felicitate the winners and to encourage the participants, they had the champion himself as the guest of honor. Bits Pilani always emphasize on extracurricular and co-curricular activities apart from academic activities. Because philosophy of Bits Pilani is overall growth of a student which is possible not only by academics but extracurricular, co-curricular. The sports festival is an important part of those activities. It encourages students to participate in the sports. This has encouraged the students to do well and win laurels for the Bets Pelani across UAE or sometime even in India. This has made the students successful not only in academics but overall professional growth for them and they can challenge in any competition whether it is a professional or some others. This is the philosophy and it is followed in all four campuses including the Bishpilani Dubai campus. It's good to be here. Um, it's well, <coughs> I always come to Dubai but this is the first time I come to this university and um, you know, I'm very happy that I made the effort to come despite my busy schedule and you know, um, you know to see the athletes receive all their awards tonight. Um, it gave me memories of when I used to be the person collecting all these trophies and medals and it's good that um, you know corporate sponsors appreciate these talents and keep supporting uh, 
functions like this. It's a great feeling, it's always good to win trophies, no matter which uh, competition you play, you always play to win. And um, this is, it was my third season of uh, T10 and also third time playing with Maratha Arabians and my second time as captain. Uh, last year we lose in the semi-finals and I was very determined to make, you know, a better improvement and, and they had a very good team and uh, thanks to the entire management staff, uh, the coaching staff and the players, um, they made my job easy as a captain. Like I said, we had a very good squad and, you know, I'm happy now that I'm a T10 champion and now I, uh, you know, I look forward to other tournaments and winning other titles. You know, the song came about uh, with my friend Remy. Uh, she's a singer. Um, when I, I first heard the song last IPL, she came and met me and um, we always wanted to do a song together. Uh, she played a few tracks and that one I selected and I'm um, very happy that uh, she, she wrote my part for me and um, she uh, got the other producer to be involved with the track and also um, you know, we shot the video yesterday and it was, a, it's a, it was a great production and I'm really excited about this song and also the video and I'm looking forward to the release of it and it's a different song for me compared to my usual songs but I'm happy that I'm able to, you know, expand my brand and also work with some great people uh, on, on this project. Well, it's time for us to go into a short break but we've got lots more lined up for you right after. Welcome back from the break. No one really knows what the future holds for the human race. But as humans, what we do know is that it is our responsibility to future-proof our young ones. It's about instilling ideas such as growth mindset, design thinking, positive education, all of which can be taught by leading by example. Calibre organized this team at 2019 and we caught up with its co-founders. So at the DP World Tour Championships Team Athlon presented by BMW Group Middle East and AGMC, the kids have been given an innovation challenge to design their own AI golf robot. And then they have to train it using artificial intelligence. They have to help the golf robot recognize what a ball is, what a flag is, and then they have to play on a specially built three-hole course that we have constructed for the AI golf robots. So we've got robots that are called McRory Bot, we've got robots that are called Tommy Fleetwood uh, Robot, and just like those players are participating at the main championship, we've got these robots battling it out for the AI golf championship uh, at Steam Athlon. The importance of the artificial intelligence is really, really good. Uh, the exposure the students get to it is fantastic and the fact that they can code their bot to perform at its highest level. But as well as that, they get to work together in other aspects such as the marketing aspect of the bot and then the presentation to the judges. So it's, it's using a whole host of skills which is really, really important for these students as they move forward into IB and beyond to university. I think there was definitely a challenge working together because all of us had different ideas and sometimes it's hard in a group to make your ideas heard and especially when you have lots of innovative ideas um, sometimes it can get messy but uh, I think that's why Steamathlon is a really good thing because it can help us work through these ideas and um, it teaches us to communicate between each other in a like better way. It's so incredible that um, kids have an opportunity to um, play alongside the DP World Championships at the Steam Athlon, um, you know, on the same uh, venue, and it must be such an incredible experience for them. It's an inclusive event, you have 50% females, you have the Dubai Autism Center competing, and this is happening alongside EDGA, uh, which is an inclusive golf tournament. So the 100 innovators, or Steam Athletes as we like to call them, uh, that you see over here are some of the best and the smartest but they're not all about just computer coding they're not all about just engineering some of them like design some of them like marketing someone some of them like engagement some of them like operations 
So we're telling learners or encouraging them that they can follow their passion as long as they work in a team and they're tolerant of each other and they just keep on trying. Well, I hope next year we have uh, more people come out and see and more people of determination come and see what we're doing here because it's just so amazing. Now, we have some, some winners today uh, and we have a lot of different categories. So we've got seven, seven awards to give away. The prize goes to the Bay Autism School. Having Dubai Autism Center participating for the second year um, with Steamathlon is very important because uh, the main target, the main subject is to make them uh, inclusive, not exclusive from the society, from the community, from the events, um, from the activities and uh, just to let them interact and coexist with others. Many congratulations, enjoy the rest of the day and hopefully we'll see you again next year. Thank you. In our profession versus passion segment, mein, we have someone who not only converted her childhood passion into her career as a playback singer, but she also made her debut in a Salman Khan movie. Also, do note that she began her singing career with Z. वैसे तो हमारे प्रोफेशन वर्सेस पैशन सेगमेंट में बहुत सारे लोग आए हैं लेकिन आज हमारे साथ एक ऐसी मेहमान है जिन्होंने अपनी शुरुआत ही टीवी से की है बल्कि जी टीवी से की है आइए मिलते हैं उनसे वेलकम टू जी कनेक्ट ऐश्वर्या थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट योर पैशन प्रोफेशन करियर ड्रीम एवरीथिंग दैट यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग सिंस अ वेरी 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 अर्ली एज So we want to know everything about this right from where it all started. So this all began pretty early, fairly early. So pretty much close to when I was born. Uh, everybody in my family used to appreciate music. They still do, in fact, appreciate music very, very highly. So uh, we had a little tradition of everybody should at least learn a little bit of music. So my grandmother, both my parents, they're graduates in music, and uh, I learned with my guruji Shri Aniket Khandekar back. home which for me is Ahmedabad in Gujarat and uh, I trained with him for about 15 years I remember that growing up around people falling in love with music in all these different ways um taught me a lot about what I can do with it it grew into a responsibility eventually and um that's when uh, I got on stage for the first time that was for Z Saregama Pa which was children's specials and one so that was like the big big step that i climbed everything uh, changed because i started doing more shows like concerts grew bollywood also started bollywood happened bringing <laughs> out of everywhere one movie was called hari puttar also so that was one of the first movies that i sang for and i also dubbed for kanchi which was subhash ghai's movie uh, then i sang for a movie called jigariya i sang for uh, ek paheli leela i sang for yes. a few other movies mm. and i uh, also then sang for prem ratan dhan pai yes. which was a pretty big thing for me I'm in sure. my life so i'm sure what was that experience like that was beautiful in fact you you know one fine day you wake up and you get a call from himesh shamia's office <laughs> and he's like uh, you know we want to dub a song aap kab aa sakti hain and i'm like okay aap bataiye main kab aaun i'll be there and uh, i remember i went there his studio is beautiful uh, so the greatest thing is that when we're recording in his uh, setup he is one of the most um, flexible music directors i have met uh, bollywood has happened you've done so many songs and you have a beautiful voice of course we want you to sing but before we get to that tell me one thing of course you've worked with so many big names in the industry already but there must be someone that you really really have always looked up to someone who is like your role model and inspiration if there was one person i could really work with that would uh, it's an impossible one but i'm still going to like root for it if my life turns out to go that way rd barman i mean we don't have him with us anymore but i'm pretty sure that there must be an archive of some of his unreleased compositions which by chance if i land my hands on i would be probably the richest human that day but what i really want to do gets out and uh, available to people on my youtube channel so that's that's one thing independent music is really really growing and pretty fast 
with a good acceptance with good uh, audiences actually understanding an artist's pers uh, perspective of music and not only just bollywood's perspective of music so this is this is more of the kind of thing that i would like to do for the rest of my life and uh, we've just been lucky and blessed with platform platforms like that that we could just put whatever we like out, out there, there and people will actually lend a ear and um, i'm just i'm honestly just blessed in every possible way with my family and uh, with my workmates and yeah pretty much that's it that's superb uh, now let's before we close let's hear something nice from you any song of your choice that you would like to sing for us hai saath aaye wo man mein samaye wo unko jo bhai wo hum lenge hai jaan se pyare sajan ji hamare unke liye kuch bhi kar denge thoda meetha te kha lete chale jo unko pasand ho lete chale thodi gunjiya gunjiya lete chale o thodi barfi barfi Beautiful. This song is going to ring in my ears for some time. Okay, thank you, Priya. Thank you. I'll probably be, you know, singing it in my while I sleep. Are you going to dance with it? I will. While you were yeah. singing it, I was already yeah, doing it's got the a steps typical in my mind. Step. You just cannot not do so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was great. And you talk about being blessed. I think the world is blessed to have artists like that you. That is mighty kind. But <laughs> I hope I can live up to expectations and just do what makes me happy. I think that'll keep the that'll. keep the balance the sky <laughs> is the limit and may you uh, keep reaching greater heights thank you so much thank for talking you, to us thank you my pleasure time for another one of those teeny mini breaks and i'll see you on the other side welcome back once again the hospitality group's fifth middle east hospitality excellence awards were held in a glittering evening check out who owned the night right here oh, wow i i i can't imagine it's 5 years now the fifth fifth year for middle east awards and seven awards together including our chef awards so it's grown to from 65000 votes to 175000 votes it's grown to over 100 awards in different categories the entire industry is here over 400 people uh, the entire industry is here so we are very very blessed i am really very excited i was here in dubai i am here in dubai for the last 35 years and uh, i are uh, really excited to receive this uh, prestigious award holiday factory got this award because of vision and because of all our staff working extremely hard holiday factory got this award because of great working environment provided by the government of dubai and because of our good customers who trusted us through last 9 years the award for the categories of uh, the best uh, corporate social responsibility where this is the proof that time hotel is doing a very social uh, responsible business in the market and is very happy to be here tonight among the other participants uh, for this uh, award thank you right and what is that one message you would like to pass on to anyone else who's looking to win tonight or is hoping to win someday stick with it uh, it's going to it's going to be hard that time but uh, the reward is certainly going to be the persistency that you're going to give to it super thank you so much luigi tree you must be ecstatic winning the young chef of the year gold award at the hospitality awards super excited super excited what is the best thing about your cooking i think um it's all about how a chef uses his or her ingredients to make the flavors come out because you can always buy expensive ingredients and just put together a salad but it's the essence of taking like any ingredient and making it special so many people being recognized at this event today 
Well, uh, it's, it's also uh, really, uh, we're really glad to see all of our, uh, our chefs, you know, the operators of our kitchens, uh, the designers that, that, that we initiated the project already with uh, since the beginning. It's, it's beautiful to see everybody coming together here. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to, to build more hotels and build more kitchens. What is that USP which has actually got you to win this award? There are so many Indian restaurants in the country. So there must be something special. I think the team over there, chef, the culinary team and the team like my F&B team, they all made that restaurant number one people choice award. So it's time for me to say bye bye to you. We'll keep many more such events coming your way in our upcoming episodes. Do keep sending in your feedback on our social media handles. I will see you once again with more stories, more opinions and more food. Take care and see you soon.